Well, we're back at it again. Another day at the job. Hell yeah. I got a <laughs> bunch of jobs. My favorite job too, man. My job entails a whole bunch of different things. And one of the things that, I, that it brings up all the time is, and I love it, is Doctor Who, man. <laughs> Fucking Doctor Who. I've never gotten to Doctor Who. You haven't watched like a couple seasons when Matt Smith I and some of those guys I've, were there? I've never watched a episode of Doctor Who. But you know you know the you know yes, obviously you know the image and the suit and how he looks and everything costume. Kind of how she looks, right? The yeah, the what's the blue building? That's the, the, uh, that's the, the Taurus. That's, that's, uh, tesseract. <laughs> I called it a Tesseract. <laughs> that's the time traveler. That's their, uh, that's the, holy shit, I forgot what the, the TARDIS? Called. The TARDIS. It's a TARDIS. <laughs> yeah. Look, it, never I, go out to a diner before we record a show because they sell good beer and drinks. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so, like, I'm, I'm vaguely aware. Not. I'm vaguely aware of who Doctor Who is, but yeah, yeah. not, not as much. I remember a while back I'll you take... saw a monster and we had a magazine laying out in the store. You saw one of the monsters. It was some, I don't know what the hell season it was. It was a new uh, addition to a new version of an uh, Ice Warrior or something. Remember okay. you saw that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's only the beginning, man. They've got some more monsters and Cybermen and all kinds of shit. With the budget these days and technology, uh, the Doctor Who is actually a really pretty hip show. It really is a pretty hip show. It, it's not as, it's goofy, yes. How many seasons is this shit oh, in? I think it's past 25 right now. That's like crazy. See, that's no, crazy it's probably even like 40, I think it is. It started in the early 60s. All right, that's got to be that's come that's between forty and fifty. That's a long time ago, man. Yeah, that's a lot of. So I can't jump. I can't jump right into that. I I gotta but, wait, but man. You don't, but you don't maybe, start there. Yeah, maybe maybe I like I'll I'll reserve that for my fifties. <laughs> like, I I don't have the time right now. I'm processing too much other shit. You know. You want to know something really interesting? Um, there was a I believe it was fifteen or sixteen year gap from when they had stopped the show years ago and when they restarted up in the early two thousands. Okay. So uh, think about that, though. That's a big gap for any show that's well known to be off the air for that long. I mean, the original Star Trek was off the air, but before you know it, there was a movie in 71, and it's always been in our lexicon, so to speak. Uh, the original Trek, you know, Kirk and all those guys. But Doctor Who being gone 16 years is a mega long time, is all I'm saying. No, no, no. That's a that's a, that's a lifetime to people. Um, I, I get that. Like I said, I'm not enough into the fandom to understand, but as... I guess it's left such an indelible impression in people. Like it's something that you got to do. It's like I feel no like real calling to watch Game of Thrones. I watched the first season. and I was like, okay, cool. So I understand you saw? it. Yeah, I only saw the first season. So like, I'm not like married to it because like it's, you never you know, saw the last two leading up to no, this. Nothing. They're dude. They're pretty stunning. They 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 condensed all the action. You know how much action there was in number one. Yes, a decent amount. Imagine that condensed by at least two or three times. Yeah. I heard that in the final season they're going to be like mini movies, and I yeah. haven't, like I said, I haven't watched the last two seasons. I only watched the first season. I've watched a few clips online, and I've had people tell me like what was going on in the season, like here and there. But like I haven't. If at some point, time. at some point, I will go through because it's such you know a part of history that I have to do it. You know. Well, it's April fourteenth, I believe the date is is when it starts. So you've got time. You got about uh, four, six, six and a half weeks to catch up with it. Remember the old days when you binged everything? Yeah. You will knock out season whatever the hell it is. The last two, you'll knock those out in a weekend. I get. I that. won't even see you that weekend, man. Yeah. <laughs> I just like I haven't been around a lot because I was doing um, leading up to Captain Captain Marvel. I did all the Marvel movies from Iron Man one. That's to, why. Huh? Yeah. From Iron Man one to Ant Man and Wasp. How many would you usually knock out in one sitting? And probably one and a half, two. No, like I, like every when I felt the need to watch one, I would watch one, and it's usually the same ones. You know, Captain America, Winter Soldier, Iron Man one. So, how, what was your pacing on that? I'm like, it's a good, it's a good, like it's a good thing you did. I'd like to get your idea on your pacing for screening these again. I was doing five a week. Wow, man, you were. Um, I would do, I would do one. That's awesome, man. I would do. If you could do that. Yeah, I was doing one on. Mo I would do one on Monday. And then, like, I would do another one on Tuesday or Thursday, most times Thursday. Then on the weekend, Wrap I would up. do, I would do like, three. Oh, jeez. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty impressive. So that, it took a full month. They have 20 movies. I know. Captain Think about America, that. Captain, Amer Captain Marvel is the 21st Marvel movie. How many films does, like, um, James Bond have? You know, think about that. Um, James Bond is... Um has about probably He's, more than that or less than that. Bond has one of the biggest franchises, period, that people um they sleep on. Yeah, they might actually be on the twenty fifth or twenty sixth episode already, a film version already. 
It'll be interesting because like the Marvel movies are going to surpass that at the pace that the Bond films are coming out. They're slow it lately. Yeah, there's no sign of Marvel stopping. So like, the you know, sky's the limit. Right? And it's like there hasn't been like one, one dud yet. There's you know, there's been a lot of like even the Ant Man movies. They're still respectable gross. You know, gross dollars. Yeah, as, as far as like the budget that the Ant Man movies have, like definitely. Definitely, like they they make money. Eighteen billion they've raked in, as of as of right now. That's mind boggling. Eighteen billion. By the way, how is that Evangelina Lilly lady who plays the wasp? Yo, she's she's in a very attractive. Yeah, lady. she's a, she's just oh got a my god, smart, she's just smoking smile, hot. great face, beautiful legs. She's got a energetic. Yeah, just like Sparky. Yeah, she's just like, like hey, you know, <laughs> her legs are phenomenal. Everything about the woman is elegant. Like everything, like. Even if she's in like a sweatpants and hoodie, she's gonna look extravagant. Like, oh my god! Oh yeah, even I if she's thing. sweaty, is that a, is no that a problem? Crush? Yeah. Well, oh, anyway, you can tell. Oh. Yeah. Oh okay. yeah. That was good. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, man. We haven't went nowhere to what? eat in a while. Well, yeah, we haven't. We we can't. Oh, we, what we gotta do is um, we gotta go to that freaking Texas Brazilian beef joint. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was called. What was it called? The Texas Day Brazil. <laughs> Tell me, what does that mean, Texas Day Brazil? It's the it's the way that they cook the food. Yeah, but I don't it's, say it's the a words, Brazil, man. It's a it's a it's Brazilian. Is how they cook the food. All right, it's it's a phenomenal fucking place. You're gonna spend fifty bucks ahead at least here in Buffalo currently. Sure, but sure, it's sure. Worth hey, it. the reason why we hadn't gone out all of us, the whole gang and stuff, is the comic book gang. You know that is. I think uh, the winter's been kind of shitty this year in some ways, unless we're just we're. We're more apt to complain too much. I don't know, but no, nah, seem to be cold. No, nah, we, we definitely had a shitty winter. It is what it is. I, yeah. Like I remember worse, but yeah, me too. But we do get spoiled. It, I think sometimes. You know? No, absolutely. Like the oh, summer, yeah, like sure is. You get you, well, you get, got a waterfront. You you got it. We made. get three weeks of straight heat, and then after that, like we're pretty good. Yeah. Well, you know, you figure you, you got about maybe what four months if you want to stretch it of bad weather if you want to look, look at that for the winter right Shit, sometimes it could be six okay but anyway you look at it four months that means you're gonna have seven or eight really good months of weather in western new york no absolutely Count all those spring days think about sometimes in the spring when you're walking to work how when it's when it's like the sun's a little lower no absolutely you hear the birds everybody's out foraging having a great time if it's about 57 degrees and we get stunning. all we get all seasons oh yeah like you know, like people, yeah. like some people only get two. Like we get all four seasons. Like you know it's dope. And guess what? what? What makes it really work, man? Which is really puts us up there in the uh, fancy, fancy class. If you really think about it, they call them the Great Lakes. Yeah. All right. We're one of the Great Lakes, man. Well, that's our region. We're some of the most powerful people in the future. There's no bodies of fresh water anywhere in the world as vital as these. These are the most sacred things for the future generations. I know it's a little, a little, you know, a little sad. I wasn't trying to like sadden anybody out there with that little no. thought. No, you know how I was thinking about how insanely beautiful that is. Man. Yeah, that is beautiful. Who invented the Dutch oven? <laughs> the Dutch oven. The Dutch oven. <laughs> we're like, we're like, you take your wife under the covers, then you fart, and then you hold her head. There. Who invented that shit? <laughs> I really don't know, Julian. I don't, <laughs> that shit's Why would you come up with that? I don't know. That was that's the shit that was in my brain. Like it was that's hilarious. I've seen it done in real life. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I was thinking of the real Dutch oven. <laughs> <laughs> you know what a real Dutch oven is? I don't know. Okay. I don't even know if I want to know. No, it's good. It's good. Okay, it's actually, okay. But it has a similar theme. Now, correct is me it, if I'm is wrong. Is it similar to a foreman grill? It, well, it has something to do with grilling. Yes, it does. Actually, you mentioned that. Okay. So I'm just going to put a little little disclaimer out here or a little something like, hey, folks, if I'm wrong on what I'm about to explain, let us know on the Facebook page or drop us a line on the Twit, man, you know? All righty. So um, you use tinfoil, and you have a little grill, a little fire going that you're camping. You got to do it when you're camping most. Okay. For the most part. You can probably do it on a grill in your backyard, too, with coals, right? But camping, it works the best. So you put a lot of little water, a lot of butter, salt, pepper, and garlic, whatever else you want in there. And you throw a couple of uh, beef steaks in there, or, or some uh, hamburgers pre-made. And you put some potatoes in there also, and you leave a little space around the food. You don't pack it real tight when you're like you're putting it in the, in the freezer. And you lay it over the part of the over the fire where it's not super super hot, and it cooks. 
and all those flavors just whiffed through that food, just saturate it, and you smell it when you're cooking it. So when you open it up, you throw peas in there too if you want with the potatoes and everything, and you open it up, your tin foil mm -hmm. could be designed to be a little plate. It's cooked to your decision, you know, medium, medium rare, medium well, whatever it might be, and everything is fantastic. It's all ingrained into the food as it cooked. That's a Dutch oven. Good. Thanks, everybody, for showing up today. Yeah, Once yep. again, a phenomenal episode. Thanks, everybody, right, for bro. showing up. Good, good meeting. So. Oh, my God. What a movie, huh? Go and see that movie, Avengers Endgame. Incredible. Amazing. What, a, what, an, end, what an end bit. Wow, what that a, final act was stunning. Oh, my God. That was, that, that was worth the price of a mission right there. Oh and we're going to hear this on a particular show? Called The Way In. The Way In. See you at The Way In. See you at The Way In. Very, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're closing out 10 years, 22 movies. I read an article a long time ago. That's, and Kevin Feige said, it was it was quoting Kevin Feige said that this is going to wrap up all the loose ends from the previous movies. So I have no idea what he meant by that because I feel like the movies kind of tie up they pretty do. well. They do. But maybe like there's some like hidden Easter eggs or like maybe like there's some loose information. Well, I think there's a little bit of both of those things. And I think also what factors in is this billion dollars they've been making the last four or five movies or whatever it's been, the last three or four yeah, movies. Yeah. I think that's... A, just giving them a whole new direction of where they want to go with things. They know they have a different form of marketing now. A little less connected to the comic books, but still related to comics. Yes. But they're you know they're they're definitely dealing with the uh, the the general public now. They're filling bodies with not just comic fans. I mean, this money's coming from a all over the place. People from head to toe. Everywhere I go, I go to the supermarket, the gas station. Everybody's in the hey. Well, how's the movies? You know, it's pretty crazy, yeah, man. Like, like what they set out to do and what they accomplished with the. The 22 movies in the interconnected universe, which had never been done prior, is amazing. So they they do earn like the payoff that they're getting. Yeah, they do. So.